Please help me welcome our Commissioner of Health, Judy Persichelli. Thank you, Governor. Good afternoon. Uh, as I mentioned uh, several days ago, uh, life as we know it has changed. As Governor Murphy just outlined, uh, today we're taking a series of unprecedented steps that we expect will make a real difference in preventing the spread of the novel coronavirus. Closing schools, colleges, restaurants, gyms, and casinos are sound public policy actions in the face of a pandemic. Counties that have been hardest hit are already enacting more restrictions to limit exposure to the virus. We understand and appreciate that these developments are causing fear and concern. These aggressive social distancing steps are not designed to scare you. They are intended to prevent further spread of COVID-19. We expect that the spread of the virus can be slowed if we act now and if we act together. Each of us must take personal responsibility for breaking the cycle of this outbreak in our communities. It is essential uh, that we as guardians of the public health and safety take all steps necessary to flatten the curve and minimize the risk to all residents of New Jersey. That will help stop the spread of disease. There is evidence to support this action. Seven weeks after Wuhan, China was locked down, the makeshift hospitals that were erected in the city have closed. About three quarters of the 80,000 people who became sick with COVID-19 in mainland China have recovered from it. But these mitigation interventions can dramatically slow the spread. And if we all work together to follow the steps Governor Murphy has outlined today, we can prevent the spread. However, we do know that this will cause significant disruption in your daily lives. We know that you're worried about being exposed, about the loss of income that may be associated with staying at home. And we know that you might feel isolated. We are by nature social individuals, especially in times of crisis. We get solace by gathering and being with one another. So reach out, talk to your family and friends, especially the elderly or those with disabilities. Maintain the best you can a real sense of community. Check in daily with each other. Technology today supports more interaction than we have had in the past. Use FaceTime or just a phone call to stay connected. Keep some form of daily structure that will lessen any anxiety and any depression you may feel. Stick to a routine, such as having regular meal times, bedtimes, and exercising. Just take care of yourselves. One of the actions people can take to ensure that they stay healthy during this crisis is to ensure that you and your family and your loved ones have a sufficient supply of healthy foods and snacks. And of course, make sure you have your medications. Both Medicaid and the Pharmaceutical Assistance to the Aged and Disabled Program, known as PAAD, the Senior Drug Assistance Program, uh, run by the Department of Human Services, are allowing early refills and 90-day supply of maintenance drugs.